So guys, today we have BYS by Casey. Uh, this is 99.97% uh, accurate to the studio version. I try to make it as much closer to the studio version and hopefully I think it's the one which is played in the studio version. So I have called many songs by Casey. Now I actually made a playlist where I got all the Casey songs together which I actually covered on guitar so if you just want on any other song make sure to go and check out the place and I also covered two other songs which came out yesterday now this song you uh, may actually play this open chord shapes and you can actually play that uh, you can actually miss some notes but you can still play it through the open chord shapes but I don't want that it may be a little bit tricky guys I just tell you guys to practice if you really want to learn this song uh, just give 20 minutes 20 minutes for just one day you give that and I think you will be able to play this song so with no further ado, let's get started. Now for this song, we have the same thing going throughout. One finger picking pattern. You can have a pick and do hyper picking. Right now, I'm actually using my thumb, index, middle and ring finger to plug the individual string. Now, just some basic, I'm actually using my thumb to play the E, A or the D string. Middle finger, um, index finger for the G string, middle finger for the B string and ring finger for the high E string. Everything is actually, see, in an order. So you can easily play that. Now you can use your pick, you can do whatever you want, but I try to make that as closer to the studio version. Uh, even the small bends, small slides, small hammer-ons and all, I like to keep that same. Alright, now uh, let's uh, look at the chord shapes. First chord will be a D major 7. Now I'm going to provide you with a tap in a minute, so if you just want to know the chord shapes I'm not showing you the chord shapes right now in this video there will be a trap provided where you can actually see everything in a minute before that I'm just telling you the chord shape now if you just want to look at the chord shapes you can just go down to the comment down below I got the open chords covered there as well so in the comment go down right now so this is a D major 7 chord it's basically mute 6 uh, mute 5 7 6 7 5 which you played over here D major 7 and then we have a E dominant 7 which is 7 9 7 9 7 the E string muted which is over here 0 2 0 1 0 and then you also have a diminished chord which is a F major diminished now I'm actually playing 8th fret you can see my fingers uh, 9th fret 7th fret and 10th fret um, uh, 8, 9, 7, 9 and then we have this F sharp minor it's not F sharp yeah it's F sharp F sharp minor 7 which is again played over here like this so just go down to the comment let's get started this goes throughout the whole song so we start off with a D major 7 chord and have a look at the tab we play 5 on the A then we play D string 7 fret then the G string 6th fret and then we just lift off your pinky and we actually play the B string 5th fret right now and then you do a hammer on putting the pinky on the 7th fret so you got like this you're not doing you're going Bing. so keep that hammer on there then you play the G string 6th fret A string 5th fret and back to 7th fret on the D string so you got now you slide from 5 to 7 it's optional but you can actually do that now we move on to the E dominant 7 chord we have this shape over here we play A string 7th fret then we play uh, the D string 9th fret then the G string 7th uh, fret and then we actually have that bar over here with that index finger I know it's a little bit tricky guys just need a little bit of practice but you can actually get that it's not that tough the chords are not unknown they are pretty much known chords and then we play the B string again we lift off your pinky one more time so we don't have the pinky right now we play the B string 7th fret and then you do hammer on 
with the pinky on the ninth fret of the B string. So you got, and then you play the G string seventh fret and end that way there. So you got, and after that you do another slide uh, from fifth fret down over here on the eighth fret. So we now move on to the F diminished chord. So we got. After that, you do a slide from 5 to 8 with your middle finger. Now you put your ring finger on the 9th fret, index on the G string 7th fret and pinky over here. But what you want to do is you're just going to put your index as a bar so that you actually get the 7th fret on the B string. That's very much important. So you got to do, got to do that bar with that index finger. I know it's a little bit tricky, but just bend that a little bit hard, you can actually get that. So we now have the F sharp diminished. F major diminished. So we play A string, 8th fret, D string, 9th fret, G string, 7th fret. And again, we play the 7th fret on the B string. And as soon as we play that, we do a hammer on with the pinky on the 9th fret. So got. And then we again play the G string, 7th fret. So it's quite similar to that E7. And over here, since we have just added F and one of the diminished. So we got. And after that, we move on to the last chord, which is a F sharp minor seven. We have we play the ninth fret on the A string, then eleventh fret on the D string, then ninth fret with the bar index on the G string, and then again we play the ninth fret on the B string. So we'll just pu put off our middle finger right now, and as soon as we hit that note, we do a hammer on and then a pull off from. 9 to 10, back to 9. So then we got G string. I'm sorry. Then we play the A string 9th fret. Then G string 9th fret. Then A string 9th fret. Then uh, D string 11th fret. So got. Now you got the tap. Just focus over there, guys. Play it very slowly. Uh, I always advise you to just replay this video a couple of times. Because this is just a little bit different it's it's actually hard now from the beginning I'm just gonna play it for a couple of times slowly so that you can actually play with, along with me to get that pace and tempo miss one slide the beginning so that's basically what's going through all the whole song uh, now if you are able to play that then good job you are you can actually play guitar well now make sure guys one more time telling don't think that i won't be able to play that please practice guys please i'm not uh, saying it for me guys please uh this song you need a little bit of practice so make sure you play that it's just a thing of four chords so you can actually get that it's not a huge repetition of different chord shapes we're just going through all the fretboard we just have four chord shapes so make sure you just master the four chord shapes and you can actually learn a lot of things from the song so that's it for the song make sure to subscribe uh check out the other case songs bye